Well, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing our series of videos with respect to education and information. And this morning, what I'd like to talk about is the Fast of Tammuz, which happens as the date of the recording today. Uh, it is held on the 17th of Tammuz, but on some years, like this year, where the 17th of Tammuz falls on a Shabbos yesterday, the fast is observed today. Why do we do the Fast of Tammuz? Uh, several unfortunate and tragic events occurred uh, on the 17th of Tammuz. The one that's most commonly referred to is uh, when the Romans besieged Jerusalem, they surrounded it and cut off all uh, food, water going in and out. Uh, on the 17th of Tammuz, they were able to breach the walls, break through the wall, and, and enter in Jerusalem. Three weeks later, on Tisha B'av, was the destruction of uh, the temple. But that's, uh, that's usually um, the one cited. There are other things happened uh, on, uh, on, the, on the 17th of Tammuz. Um, because of the siege, uh, the Kohanim, the priests, were unable to bring the uh, Korban Tamid, the daily um, sacrificial offering. That was considered a very tragic event. On the 17th of Tammuz, it is brought down that Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses, broke the stone tablets of the uh, Ten Commandments. That happened on the 17th of Tammuz. On the 17th of Tammuz, prior to the Bar Kokhba revolution, um, a Roman general, um, Apostaphos, I believe his name was, uh, set up an idolatrous image uh, in the temple, which was, of course, was a scandalous uh, and, uh, and provocative uh, measure, which, among other things, uh, helped prompt the Bar Kokhba uh, revolution. How is the 17th of Tammuz observed? Well, obviously, by the name Fast of Tammuz, there's a fasting. This is uh, no eating or drinking permitted uh, from uh, the break of dawn prior to sunrise uh, till after dark. Um, no eating, no drinking. However, unlike uh, Yom Kippur, uh, you are able to, um, uh, to bathe uh, anoint yourself, wear leather. Uh, pregnant women, women who are nursing and people with certain uh, physical medical conditions are exempted uh, from the fast. On years like this year, where the 17th of Tammuz falls on a Shabbos, it is observed the next day. There are other, uh, there are other things re with respect to the, uh, uh, to the service, the, uh, the Elenu, what uh, Torah portions are read, uh, but those are basically the, uh, uh, the highlights. Why do we observe the 17th of Tammuz? Why focus on these tragic events? Well, 17th of Tammuz is one of the, uh, one of the fast days mentioned in the, in the Tanakh. Um, but the reason why we focus and concentrate on uh, things like the destruction, uh, the breaching of the walls leading to the destruction uh, uh, of the temple is to try and awaken a, a sense of tshuva, of repentance. Um, it is brought down that the reason why the Bezmigdash was uh, destroyed, the second Bezmigdash uh, temple was destroyed, was because of sinas chinim, baseless hatred. Uh, it is said that when the Romans entered into Jerusalem, breached the walls, and actually went in, what they found were various groups of Jews fighting amongst themselves. Um, baseless hatred uh, is uh, sadly a curse that has been uh, with the Jewish people for far too long. Uh, let us try to uh, get around that. Uh, the 17th of Tammuz also starts the three-week uh, the, the three period between um, the 17th of Tammuz and Tisha B'Av. This is a period of uh, mourning. Weddings aren't held uh, during this period. Uh, partying and festivities are, are really, really kept down. And finally, culminate, it culminates with Tisha B'Av, which is uh, the most tragic day uh, of the Jewish calendar. Um, we're, gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing more videos along this line. I'm gonna be doing a video on Tisha B'Av. Um, please come back, uh, please watch, please learn. I hope you're finding them uh, uh, encouraging and, and informational. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.